Hey, this is Nicole from ConvertKit, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up a link trigger. So a link trigger is a really cool feature where an action can be taken based on your subscribers clicking a link within your email. Um, a popular example or a popular use case for this would be, um, let's say you have a new free e-course that you wanna share with your subscribers. Now it's not necessarily right for everyone, so you don't wanna automatically add them, but you wanna give them the option to opt into your free e-course. You can do this um, by sending them a broadcast and say, hey, I released this new e-course. Um, if you click this link, you can um, be subscribed and you'll start getting the emails. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set that up. The first thing you wanna do is go to the automations page. You can access that by clicking automations right up here at the top. Then you wanna click add rule. So on our automations, there's a trigger and then an action. For your trigger, you wanna select clicks a link to set up a link trigger. When you do this, you'll be prompted to name your link and put in a URL. So the name is going to be for internal purposes only. Your subscribers are never gonna see this name. Um, it's for you if you set up multiple link triggers to be able to easily select the correct one from a list. For the URL, um, this is going to be where your subscribers are directed when they click the link. Now, the action is going to be taken when they click, so it doesn't matter necessarily what this URL is. However, it is nice to know, let your subscribers know that the link trigger worked. So you can set up something like a simple thank you page on your website and direct them there. Um, for demo purposes, I'm just gonna put in ConvertKit. And I'm gonna name this new course. Okay, so I've established my trigger. Now I wanna set up my action. So we're doing a course. I wanna select subscribe to a course. There are um, a couple other things I could do, such as put them on a form or add a tag. Um, so another place link triggers can be useful is asking your subscribers to identify their interests in something. Let's say you um, blog about food and you have a um, dessert recipes and dinner recipes. If you want to know who's more interested in dinner and dessert, dinner versus dessert, you can send them a broadcast and say, hey, select what you'd like to hear about more, dessert or dinner. And then they can select it and they'll, that tag will automatically be applied to their subscriber profile, which will um, allow you to know a little bit more about your subscribers, which is pretty cool. But for this example, we're just gonna do subscribe to a course. So then we'll just select a course here and save our rule. Now, once that's done, so we've set up the link trigger and automation, we want to figure out how to get that broadcast and let our subscribers opt in. I'm going to go to broadcast, and I've set up an example email right here. Okay, so I already wrote the text, but um, you want to write the text first. Um, the reason is that you can then simply highlight your link copy right here, select the link button and insert link. And then um, it'll just put it in for you. You can also click insert link and type your text here. I, this is just what works for me. So now you're gonna be prompted to put in a URL. Um, but since we're doing a link trigger instead, you want to select your link trigger from this drop down menu right here. So you can see I created the one I created, new course, and it goes to convertkit.com. We're gonna insert that. And so it looks like a, a link to your subscribers, but you can see the little lightning bolt. And then when you click edit, that this is your link trigger instead. And it won't let you edit the URL. Um, so that's how you know you've got it in correctly. So now when your subscribers get this email, they'll click this link and they'll automatically be subscribed based on the link trigger you set up. Um, hopefully that clears up um, any maybe confusion around link triggers. If you have any questions that this video did not cover, please write us um, at support at convertkit.com. We can take care of those for you. All right, thanks.